Welcome back to No Context Britain, a series in which we take a look at, at the best of Britain. The where squirrel in wine. What? <laughs> What? Why don't you get him out then? I always thought these bins were metal. So did I. To be fair, I never felt like, you know, going up and feeling one of the bins, but they just look like metal. That bit is. That bit is metal. It's because it makes a clang when you throw stuff in. So you just assume the outside is metal. But it's not. It's wood. Ordered a strawberry milkshake and this is what they sent me. That is the most just eat thing I've ever seen in my life. This gets worse the more you read. Oh my god. Jimmy Savile free if you phone him tonight. If you call da da da, you'll find yourself listening to Jimmy Savile himself. You will hear Jimmy chatting to four London telephone girls in his usual lively manner. That's fucking one way to put it. Jimmy asks the girls about their work, how they enjoy it, how much they earn and of course about their prospects. If you are after a better job or simply like the sound of Jimmy's voice. Give him a ring. And while you're at it, why not send the coupon for more information about a telephone girl's job in Central London anyway? It always baffles me how he managed to get away with it for so long. Because he was always like a creepy nonce. Everyone was just like, oh no, he's a great guy. Because he's just like all charity work and stuff. That means he can't be a bad guy. No, nonce. Fugitive alert. Merseyside police is looking for Ronnie Williams Jr. of Scotland Road for fraud. He, is, he has convinced three local churches that he is Ed Sheeran. And he even went as far as performing the shape of you in front of Christ Community Church last Sunday when the pastor was asked why he believed a real age share would perform for 35 quid in a sandwich. He said he just assumed he fell on tough times. <laughs> if you have any information about Ronnie's whereabouts, message us immediately. <laughs> I mean, like, no, let, let him go. Let him go. If people are stupid enough to think he is actually Ed Sheeran that has fallen on hard times, that's on them. Oh, yes. The Brexit bar. We never close. Unlike our borders. But where is the Brexit? I need to find this. I must I must visit the Brexit bar. I, I bet you anything it is in Benidorm. It's just coming out of ones in England. It has to be in Spain. There's absolutely no way it's not in Spain. All right, I'll look up Brexit Benidorm. Yeah! Wait, what? Brexit Espanol. Okay, okay. It's not. It's not. I can't locate where, where Brexit is. If anyone knows where Brexit is, please let me know. Oh, is this in Bulgaria? Yes, I'm here now and have been there. It's called the Central Bar now, but has Brexit signs all over it. Fugitive Daniel Khalif caught by plainclothes police officer who pulled him off. That was such an anticlimactic, like, manhunt, weren't it? I was expecting something with a bit of panache at the end, like, you know, the old round moat situation. A bit of pizzazz. Sausage rolls, £7.50 each. £7.50 each. They have to be the best sausage rolls to ever be made. Teacher's horror as boy four brings vape to school that mum gave him to keep him happy. Oh. Ban flavoured vapes, I say. Ban them. My friends, I come to you with unprecedented news. UK is banning disposable vapes like Lost Mary's and, and Elf Bars and th those lot. Never again will I have a 14-year-old come up to me and go, excuse me, can you, go, can you go in the shop and get me a, a blue triple raspberry, please? Never again will I be stood inside a club and be suffocated by, by the vape smoke from everyone in there. And I know a lot of people might be going like, oh, but it's, it's better for you than cigarettes. It's probably not. It's probably not. Do you know what's in them? Do you know what it, what is in those vapes? Nothing good. Also, like genuine question for people that like vapes those ridiculous flavors. Did you not feel embarrassed as like a grown adult going into the corner shops and asking boss man going up to him and going, "Excuse me, can I have um a triple blue raspberry watermelon ice, please?" That sounds utterly ridiculous. You should be embarrassed, and I'm I'm glad this law has gone through, so you don't have to embarrass yourselves anymore. My childhood dream was to eat one of these. Why do you want to eat a telly? <laughs> Batman delivers suspect to Bradford police. Oh, good on him. If I did crime and got caught by, by some tubby man in a Batman costume, I'd be devastated. Nursery rhymes with Justin Fletcher. No, it doesn't. I mean, this isn't about the post at all, what it sort of is. But I swear to God, everyone in the UK, when you bring up Justin Fletcher or Mr. Tumble or whatever, goes, oh, you know, he's actually like a really rude man. Like, he's, he's not a nice guy. I swear that every single, whether it's true or not, it doesn't matter at this point. Like, everyone has heard this rumor. Has it got any proof at all? 
No. <laughs> but everyone in the UK has heard the rumor that Justin Fletcher is rude behind the scenes or something. As far as milk displays go, this is up there. That is a very nice milk display. Very well stocked. Very in line. I commend the worker who did this. They need a pay rise. No, what the fuck is this? Goldfish shaped ham. God, that's not real. That isn't real. All right, I'm not sure what country this is, but it seems to be a real thing. <laughs> 12.56 p.m. in Weatherspoons. Geezer has sunk 50 quid in Bandit and ordered a chicken tikka masala. War a life, love Sheffield. I went to a pub to watch the football a couple weeks ago and <laughs> there was just this guy sat at one of the fruit machines for the whole duration of the game, like half time before everything. He was sat there for like two hours. The jackpot on this machine was only like 100 quid and he was just sinking cash into it. He must have lost 200 quid in the time he was sat there. Dad, there's a spider in the living room. Can you take it out? Took it out. Pretty nice fella. He's a web developer. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Help, please. My son has taken a large amount of money to school today. £520. My older daughter's driving less of money and has been giving it out to children, mainly in his class, class five. Oh, that's very generous. If anyone's child has come home with any money, please be honest and return it as it's a 17-year-old. The school have managed to retrieve £330. There's still a large amount missing. Please, class five, check your children for £28, £10 notes. <laughs> That's a nice kid, though. If he's just going around just giving cash to people, I wouldn't have done that. British cuisine, best in the world. White Monster is a war crime. It is absolutely vile. What a vile substance. I'd sooner scram that fish as it is than drink a White Monster ever again. Petition to bring these back. I did not even know Calippo shots were not a thing anymore. They were a small staple of my childhood, but they didn't really taste much. They just tasted of, of water. They, they didn't have much flavor to them. Which way do you cut toast? One. I don't know why but it just tastes so much better when you cut it into triangles. That is also sort of acceptable. That, however, why would you cut it like that? The actress who played Poe on Teletubbies ended up doing lesbian. Why is that in quotation marks? <laughs> or as if it's like subjective. New life hack. A whole bottle of wine can fit in a LucasAid sport bottle, can it? So you don't look like a wino on the tray. <laughs> That's actually a great tip, to be fair. We live by Alton Towers and can hear people screaming, but get free tickets. I mean, that... That, that sounds like a fair exchange. Mum, I am texting you off my friend's phone because I have lost mine and the battery is about to run out. Can you text me back on this number? Fuck off, scamming prick. Suck your mum. <laughs> Found the worst person in the world. Yeah, that's fucking disgusting. If your shoes are dirty, you don't get to put them on the seat in front of you. Terrible, terrible train etiquette. Actually, that's a bus, isn't it? Are those the stairs going? I don't know. I don't know what. But if those are stairs, that's even worse. I was on the BBC today talking about the gift guide and the host said the self-heating mobile was very controversial because he believes if you let your tea cool to an undrinkable temperature you, you should have to live with it which is to be fair the most british thing i've ever heard that's true if you forget about your tea and let it cool to an undrinkable temperature like a temperature you think it would be disgusting to drink it at like you've made your bed lie in it what are they, what are they achieving well what they're saying is they want maximum disruption to stop the government extracting oil and gas yeah but that's cooking oil <laughs> Dad's stunned as Queen legend Freddie Mercury appears in pork shop. Where? Where? Confusing words from yonks ago. Let's go through these. Sozzled, never heard that one before. Cad, never heard that one. Bonk, heard that one before. The ladies all go, George, please bonk me. Wally, heard that. Beth, Bethrotted? What? Beth, I, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Never heard that. Nincompoop, yep. Boogie, yes, this from Fortnite. Trollop, yeah, I heard that. Bounder? No. Boulder Dash. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that. That's from like fucking 1700s. Henceforth, yep. Yeah, I use that word sometimes to sound fancy in emails. Yonks, yep. Yeah, heard that. It's in it's in the title of this, this article thing. Lush, yeah, I use that one a lot. Tosh, no. Swat, no. Brill, yeah. People still use Brill. Kerfuffle, yeah. Randy. Yes. Disco. Who? Oh, that's not an old word. Disco. Like school disco. Minted. Yeah, I use that loads because whenever I speak to the ladies, I go, yeah, I'm minted. And they go, wow, please bonk me, George. What the fuck do you juice with this? Your mum. Some freak messaged my mum on Insta and she replies with this. I can't do it. Hi, sweetheart. Can we fuck? Can't at the moment. I'm in Tesco's. <laughs> To be fair, she's very occupied. She's at Tesco's. Two men banned from all-you-can-eat buffet restaurant for being too greedy. I love the photo attached to this. Because <laughs> they're like, um, oh, we're so hungry. Our tummies are grumbling. Look at us rub our grumbling tummy. <laughs> He's really struggling. <laughs> Earlier this week, officers from our North neighborhood team executed a warrant in which we recovered a quantity of drugs and weapons, I'm guessing it says. Who did you... <laughs> 
<laughs> Did you break Jack Sparrow's house or something? What is this? <laughs> I gave me a great haircut that ended up in me getting laid to five stars. A very British looking street in America. That just looks like almost every street in Liverpool. Is it a crime to knock on a door and run away? Yes, since 1839. Has anyone ever been arrested for that though? I, I very highly doubt it. <laughs> Have fun, kids. <laughs> What is even the point? What is even the point in making this little park? Kids have their own cars and they get pocket money weekly to spend on whatever they want. Youngest 30 next week spent over £30 on one thing the other day, saying that I'll find out what it is when it gets here. It came today. <laughs> That's a really weird thing for a 30, for someone who's like 12 to buy. You know, I only got into my cardboard cutout phase at about age 19. Trying a new Chinese and it being shite is honestly worse than heartbreak. Not only have you betrayed your normal Chinese, but you've got a shite dinner. You see, I'm a very loyal man. As soon as I find somewhere that is a decent takeaway for that sort of food, I just stick to it. I'll find a decent Chinese within the first week of moving into a place. I'll stick with it for the three years that I live in that place. I will never waver. McDonald's to remove taste the side opposite. Cornwall Crematorium. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> that's just funny. Come on, that's just funny. You gotta leave that up. Could breathing help you live longer? Perhaps, but I think that is just one of those wild theories. According to my mother, the sunset in Glasgow was utterly brilliant last night. Here's her photographic evidence of the event. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I mean, the sun does reflect very well on those walls. You can sort of see how like pinky it is. Would help if the camera is pointed at the sky and not <laughs> not your garage. Hi Twitter, I just learned that the UK edition of Dollar Tree is this and I may never recover. To be fair, I never thought about Poundland like that until I saw this tweet like, like a year or so ago. Poundland, it might as well be called Fuck Town. And now that I think about it, if you go to someone, oh, can you give me a pound? You're basically asking them to bum you. Ice cream van charging customers seven pounds for 99 flakers seized by police. Good. I have a phobia of these sauce rolls. Nah, nah, the sauce from those are just... Uh, Oh, don't know what it is about it, especially the burger sauce. It's just mwah. finally tried fish and chips y'all been talking about. Can you please fuck off, mate? Great response. Smoked salmon and crisps. Disgraceful. Actually, that's just lunch. That's just lunch. British cuisine best in the world. That is fucking vile. That is just too vile. Whoever served you that deserves death. And if you ate that, you deserve death. Sorry, that was a bit dramatic. I'm sorry. Whoever invented this ice cream was a certified freak. It's really weird looking back now that there was just a, a foot ice cream that you would suck. Moving to London, expectation, reality. There's no point living in London. I'ma just be real. Unless you have to work there, there's no point living in London. Or maybe if you have like friends, if your friend group is there, then that's then that's acceptable. Woman realizes she's been washing her hands with a block of cheese for weeks. How do you not clock on? Like surely even just by the fact that cheese doesn't get slippery, Surely by that you know that it's not soap. A man pours beer into an ashtray for his dog at a pub in Manchester, 1976. We used to be a proper country album when our dogs would get hammered with us. Me looking for the inspector that didn't check my 180 pound ticket. The worst thing is when you buy like a train ticket and the barriers are just open on both ends and no one checks your ticket in between. You've just burnt money basically. Do you recognize this man? We believe he may be able to help us with our inquiries about an assault in Luton on the 3rd of July. Ah, oh, yes, I know him very well. I can't even make out what, is that his head? What is that? What's the red bit there? What's that? Has he been shot and that is like a gaping wound? What? What is this image? Ultimate chip butter, your whole, a whole bread loaf hollowed out and filled with chips, cheese and lashings of gravy served with two, two jugs of gravy for dipping. At first I was like a chip butty for nine quid, that's an absolute rip off, but that sounds massive and also fucking disgusting. The happiest man in Birmingham. Right, let's leave this video on this iconic, iconic video. Fucking angry this morning, yeah? So I thought I'd make a fucking video. Why am I angry? Don't ask me why. I've just woke up in a fucking steaming mood, yeah? Because I live in a shithole. Do you know what I mean? Birmingham is a fucking shithole. I hate the fucking place. I fucking hate it. It's full of dickheads. I fucking hate it. Oh, God bless Danny G. I wonder what he's up to at the moment. Does he still make videos on YouTube? I said I was going to end it there. I'm not. I'm, 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 I want to see what Danny G is up to. Fucking hell, he's got 63k subscribers. All right. Um, He made a video nine days ago called Pervs in the Gym. He's uploading very regularly. What's this video? Hello there, everybody. How are you? Are you good? Are you feeling frisky? Are you having a good day? Are you feeling like an absolute beast? Same, mate. Same. I was just on TikTok and I saw a woman and she ended up putting the bar down, turning around and having an argument with a geezer for looking at her. And this is getting ridiculous now. Fair enough, Danny G. Well, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it, but I don't have 21 minutes to spare. Subscribe or Danny G will come and kick your head in.